There is a safety net for pets in our world, and it is us. We are the pet industry. We provide all the products and all the services that people need for pets. We're veterinarians and humane societies. We're microchip makers and pet rescue volunteers. We're municipal animal services, breeders and trainers and groomers. We're pet food retailers, manufacturers and pet insurers. Together we've established the principles of responsible pet ownership and community animal management. Together, we're sharing these principles within our communities. Our various pet identification and registry services, our tattoos, and licenses, and chips and photos are helping responsible pet owners keep track of their pets. And better yet, our registries often help owners recover their pets when they go missing. Now even so, for all of our efforts, of the 10 million cats and dogs that go missing in North America every year, only one in 10 ever gets home again. Every year, 50% of these cherished pets are put down, put to sleep, euthanized. At a cost of the industry of more than $2 billion each year. Five million pets, all that money, all those pets, euthanized. And why? Because though we have thousands of independent pet registry and identification systems, they can't talk to each other. They're not connected. Because as an industry, we're not linked the way we should be. Now, we can't keep Rover out of traffic. That's his owner's job. However, as the pet industry, we can ensure that if Rover does go missing, when found, he will get home again. All Rover needs is a better safety net than what we currently provide. What Rover really needs is a super net, a single central pet registry that brings all of our registered pets together into one universally accessible service. Imagine, with such a supernet, when Rover's found, then you or I or anyone else who finds him can easily track down his owner and arrange for a safe return. But what about cats? Many cities do not license cats. So Fluffy's reality is all too certain. A one in 10 chance of ever getting home again. And all she has is talk my cat doesn't go outdoors, my cat doesn't wear a collar, a microchip is just too expensive. Besides, there's no place to register her. Well, Fluffy needs no more talk. She needs action. If Fluffy was registered, a super net would work for her too. And if we could save Fluffy, we could save millions of her friends every year. Well, the great news is, now we can. There already is a super net. Humane societies in Canada already support it. Pet retailers, vet associations, and pet insurance companies are adopting its services. Now they like the fact that the SuperNet is industry neutral, completely transparent, and universally accessible. It saves the industry money, time, and effort. But best of all, it's proven, tested, and ready for all sectors of the pet industry. As much as the Fluffies and Rovers of our world need a SuperNet, their owners need it even more because they desperately want their lost pets returned to them. Look around you. As members of the pet industry, we're already a vital part of the solution. We've already developed a registry of our customers, our clients, and our patients. Now it's time for all of us to take that next step. It's time to bring all of our cats and dogs together. It's time we all linked up, pets, owners, and the industry on the SuperNet. PetLinks, the SuperNet for pets and people. PetLinks, we can help you do a whole lot of things better.